pelvic floor is like a net. The muscle area in the pelvic floor mainly has too much tension. And and that's how I got into to working the pelvic floor. It, it's just a, how do I say, a, 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 like a gateway. Um, but it, I think it's certainly a stage that we have to undo to free up our bodies to be able to, to get into the state that, that these old masters talked about. Enable us to stand in the Qigong stand without muscle tension. In German, we would say, sei nicht arsch verspannt. No Qigong without our perineum, without our pelvic floor. I would describe it as totally backwards. Like I, I started with forms and then I went to push hands and I did that for many years. And then I went into stance practice, into to John Drong. And, and I've discovered I should have started with John Drong stance practice. And then after I developed connection, then moved into silk reeling, then moved into forms practice, then moved into push hands. For the goal I wanted to achieve, I really needed to start with John Drong. I'm a woman on the way. When I stop hustle all the time and become still and start to listen to my heart and my inner voice, that means to follow my heart and live my gift in all kinds of ways. Um, then I arrived with myself and to pass on this experience and to guide people on their way fulfills me deeply and makes me feel deeply grateful. If I would live in a hermitage, I would take the I Ching. But not only the I Ching, I would also take my colors and my pencil, my calligraphy set with me. If it's only allowed to take one book with me, I think I have a big problem because um, I like to dive into the world between the letters, depending on my mood. But uh, one of my favorite books I pick up a lot and read it again and again is the book a cause of miracles this is one of my favorite books and i think maybe i would take this one with me <laughs> i would take the bible um, it's a book that's just full of wisdom stories of history culture it's, it's a work of literature and and i think on a hermitage where i could train um, and I could read, that would um, result in a very fruitful hermitage. I don't have a really favorite song at all, but I love to hear reggae music because reggae music creates good moods and creates sunshine in my heart. And I like this very much, this easy kind of music. <laughs> Well, at the moment, I am enjoying exploring the, the traditional music of the ethnic um, Asian or Central Asian groups. Um, I just find it very calming. Um, it's not electrified. Um, there's no steel involved. Um, it's just very, very comforting and very sensual music. What I'm, I'm discovering now is that I'm making peace with the possibility that I may never achieve my goal uh, to be able to, to fa jing. And, and I've noticed that by letting go of the, that drive and that desire to, to, to how, do I, how do I train, how do I do this, how do I do this, to, to get to that goal, by letting go of that, I find that I'm, I'm more calm and, and more relaxed. And ironically, maybe not wanting it so badly um, and just practicing for the sake of practicing and enjoying the moment and, and being present with myself and my practice here today, uh, maybe that will get me over the finish line and, and get me to the goal. 
I love the following sentence by Albert Einstein. In the middle of the difficulties lies the possibility. The question I ask myself is this, what would happen if we as humanity thought more in terms of possibility than in difficulties? I would be the sun. The sun that radiates into the dark. The sun that illuminates what is pale, what is in the obscurity. The sun that warms the heart. I'd probably be a horse. Horses are awesome animals. Um, and and I, could, I could see myself just running free on the Mongolian steppe with the blue sky and the endless green fields. Um, so, so yeah, it, it would be a horse. I love to walk in the forest and listen to the rustling of the trees. And I also love the large and wide fields who change with the seasons. And I also love being by the ocean, watching the waves, letting my eyes roam and smell the scent of dune grass. I think there's my place of power. So therefore I would say that the ocean corresponds to me the most.